Hi there Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of December. Each zodiac sign has a ruling planet and some have two. In your case your traditional ruler was Saturn. In a more modern context it's said that Uranus is that more progressive side of your nature and the two are very influential this week. The week kicks off with Saturn continuing its fine angle with Jupiter and if you have been making progress with your professional situation in the last six or seven weeks it wouldn't be a surprise. It may not have been a dramatic breakthrough, more baby steps but building into something that structurally feels more firm and secure. Keep going with the hard work. Monday and Tuesday can still be influential in this regard. Now on Tuesday Uranus, your modern ruler, starts to go forwards after a five and a half month backward journey and if nervous tension has been an issue for you over the last uh, months it wouldn't be a surprise particularly as of course Uranus is continuing to broadly square up with Pluto. Pluto's hidden away in a very psychological part of your scope so generally Aquarius people have at times felt a little bit ragged on edge not really quite as settled as they might do. But the good news is that with Uranus going forward, some of that stress can just be eased off, but can is the operative, because laying in wait on Wednesday is Mars, and Mars is now in a very potent part of your horoscope. It's in your sister, air sign of Libra, and broadly this can be incredibly positive for you from now right through to pretty well the end of July 2014, because it's going to make you much more pioneering, much more adventurous. Saturn brings a strange duality to you because Aquarians are fixed, so therefore you can be rooted in routines much more than people think. So you come up with these brilliant groundbreaking ideas and won't change any of your personal patterns at all. And Mars is going to push you to do precisely that. So if you find yourself suddenly getting an urge to just get everything in the car, head off to the airport and go away to the sunshine or for some snow, it wouldn't be a surprise on the back of Mars's opposition with Uranus. Or perhaps you're just going to change your routine about what you'd normally do at Christmas time in a more local situation. But this aspect can create quite a lot of tension too. And it can be positive tension or it can be more negative tension. You're going to have to manage this because I do feel that your desire to have your truth to say how you feel is going to be so strong on the back of this aspect and it is part of you anyway to speak out be frank and basically be a bit of a reformer it is going to be important to be a rebel with a cause not without one so you need to get your facts right you need not to be too impetuous if you are pinning someone just remember that we're all fallible you you've got faults i've got faults don't try and make it a case that they're all evil and you're all great. That can be an Aquarian trait too. So try to be fair-minded if you are going to have a strident debate with someone. And remember, if it is a debate, there may be someone who's a bit more timid and doesn't like confrontation quite as much as you can. So it could clear the air. It could see you do something very dramatic and physical, last minute, spontaneous, exciting. Could see you have a little bit of an amazing connection with somebody, perhaps at a distance, a meeting of minds, but it can be unsettling too. Venus also starts to tread backwards on Saturday of this week, although it does forge a beautiful link with the sun all this week. I wouldn't be surprised if there was someone letting you know that they have got a fascination with you. They might not do it in a very straightforward way, so look out for the signals, some which could be non-verbal. But by the end of the week, a much more reflective influence kicks in when the sun moves into Capricorn. Does so each time every year. You've probably had quite a sociable month up until now. I do feel that you may find yourself just wanting a bit more time for yourself. If you're someone who's very passionate about charities, You'll be pushing people to buy charity cards or making donations and trying to get away from the more materialistic side of Christmas. I think there's some truth in that. But also, if you find yourself just wanting to put the world at a distance and have a few early nights and recharge your batteries before you really push on for Christmas week, it wouldn't be a surprise. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.